Hello there, kids, and as I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we'd just gotten to Tatooine after all of the shenanigans of doubling back to, uh, Dantooine to finish up, uh, having the little girl on the ship that shouldn't have been there and then made it look very, very not great <laughs> overall. Um, just got back to Dantooine. We've gotten a bit of the lay of the land on what we can do around here and what we should be doing to possibly make some money. And, uh, that's about it. That's about all we got. Uh, so we're just going to continue on, see what we can do. Uh, hunting lodge. Okay. I guess the hunting lodge was right there. Okay. Fair enough. Faza Utrao. I remember you being a uh, person I needed to talk to about hunting. Well, a new face. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Faza's Lodge is a place to do it. Okay. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim. A hunter's paradise. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, do you have anything for sale or trade? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to even look at what you have unless I see a hunting license. Circa Corporation rules. The other hunters all have theirs. I can't make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Okay, well, I guess I need to get a hunting license. Um. Fair enough. I guess I'll go do that. Uh, what are you doing here? This is a hunting lodge. I purchase what the sportsmen bring in. Not a bad little job. Alright, fair enough. I got some questions about hunting. You'll want to know how to get in on it. Just pay 200 credits for a license down at the Circo office. No license, no hunting. Why do I need a license? You need a license because nobody gets out of the city without one. Circa Corporation uses it to keep track of people. They want people to know that if they step outside the gate, they are on their own. Only serious hunters pay the 200 credit fee. Once you have a license, I'll pay for whatever spoils of the hunt you bring back. I have all world buyers to take them. Would you consider lowering the fee? Well, that's not up to me now, is it? You'll have to talk to the people down at the Circa office in the center of town. Damn it. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll talk to them. Uh, I tried. I tried, folks. I really did. Uh, uh, let's go... Let's go back to my first questions. Alright then, just keep it brief, will ya? Sorry, I had to... Clear my throat a little bit there. <clears throat> I can't sell or anything to you until I get a hunter's license. Uh, anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine or just in general? I heard about the destruction of Terra, so don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised something like that would happen. I remember the Exar Kun War and how the Sith and Jedi fought across worlds. Don't have much interest in either. Both act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. Alright, that's a way to look at it. Give me a second, I need to deal with the thing. Sorry about that, thought I left my oven on. I could smell a weird burning smell. <laughs> Turns out, no, I didn't. I just, I'm stupid. I left it open because uh, I'd like to let the heat permeate the house to try and heat it up without me turning on the actual heater. <laughs> and uh, that was what the smell was. My bad. Anyway, um... Know about anything more local? Ah, Zerka Corporation is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again. At least that's what I think they said. Tough to tell sometimes. You'll have to talk to these groups yourself for more. I keep to myself. Fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll get going then. Bye. I'll be here. I keep hunter's hours. Faza's is always open. Alright, sounds good to me. Kudos! Hey there, kudos. Hello, human. Are you a hunter like the others here? Not the life for me, but I admire you for it. Uh, what do you do? I fill the day days with games of Pazak. Okay, I'm already not interested. Alright, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, Komad Fortuna. Yes, if there's something you wish, human. 
information if I could trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. Spare me the flattery, human. Such talk is rarely sincere. You caught me. <laughs> I was just saying it because the line said it. That's it. Uh, who are you? What do you do? I'm Komad Fortuna, a hunter and member of this lodge. It is not the life for everyone, but I am content. Uh, where is the best hunting? The best hunting is wherever the best hunter is. It's a trite answer, human, but the only one I can give. Depends on what you see. Raid are plentiful and the spoils of the sport hunter. Dragons appear only to the true hunter. Patience is key. Crate dragons hunt alone and their prey is whatever they can catch their attention. Rather, ra whatever can catch their attention. So dragons are rare, are they dangerous? They are both rare and dangerous, and an honor to hunt. If you survive, you are blessed and well-favored. Respect them. Some try to lessen the risk by mass hunting with battle droids. I would rather hunt solo, taking the risk as my own. Who uses battle droids? I will not speak of it while they live. It is their shame to admit or hide. They know the effect it has. Perhaps they will kill so many raid that they will also kill the hunt. After that, perhaps a solo hunter will still prosper. How long have you been at this? A decade? Two? I don't enslave myself to time, human. There is day and there is night. You really don't know anymore? Tatooine will not change in my lifetime. Why bother trying to keep up with the rolling of the years? I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. I can't really fault you for that. Um, Give me a second. I need to adjust my seat here. Ooh. My neck was kind of straining. I figured I might as well try and alleviate a little bit. Uh, what can you tell me about the other hunters? Probably not as much as you would learn speaking to them yourself, even if they tell you nothing. The most obvious are the Gamarines, however. Gurk and his crew are not the best company. They hunt, but often come back with salvage instead of hides or pearls. I think their prey walks upright. Wouldn't the guards have something to say about that? The dunes are far from the reach of their blasters. Besides, Girk spends his money in company stores. What about the other hunters? Ah, put simply, Dorak Kuhn is honorable. Tannis then is not so much, but I have no real quarrel with him. Alright. Kind of back first to the questions. I will answer. The day drags on, however. I'm looking for something. Who would know the planet best? No one that would return your questions. No one that will return your questions. To you truly know the dunes, you'll have to live here. The sand people. Only they truly explore the land, but they attack without debate if you see them at all. Uh, have you ever seen the sand people with anything odd? The sand people carry nothing but weapons and bloodlust. To them, outsiders are invaders to be repelled. Once or twice, however, I have seen them emerge from older ruins with sacks and other containers. I've always been driven off, and if I examine the site later, there is nothing left. What kinds of ruins were these? Where were they? They were old storehouses of some kind, but you couldn't find them now, human. The sand covers all. The only ones who would know what was there are the sand people, and you would have to take it by force. Finding their encampment is easy enough. Walk south until you are attacked. <laughs> that sounds like a plan, sure. Alright. Whatever you say. How about no? Uh, what about the Jawas? The Jawas may know the land as well, but are more interested in trading than talking. They scavenge to escape. Okay. Their language is difficult. If you can get anything more than the price of a droid out of them, I'd be impressed. Alrighty. Fair enough. I have to leave. Goodbye. Good hunting. <laughs> that is not what that line means, I'm sure. Dorak Quinn. Sorry, Get lost, I mispronounced Tennis, his name I'll earlier. Desert raid. I don't babysit. Okay. It's just as well. You probably couldn't teach me anything. Hoping to goad me into talking a bit? All right. What do you want? Oh, well, I was looking for that. Who would know the planet best? You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas well, are well, I tried him already. Information. Even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. Fair enough. Uh, who are you? What is it you do? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? Me, the last one. <laughs> uh, where is the best hunting? If I knew the best place, why would I tell anyone? 
It would be worth too much to me to let it get out. Fair it enough. doesn't matter anyway. This season has been dry for me, as it has for almost everyone. Perhaps okay. someone else is holding out, but there are simply fewer raid out there. Why are there fewer raid? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one test. Hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? That's fair. I mean, that's kind of fucked. That, if anything, that's just trying to... I wouldn't say cheat, just... make it more of a... I, I, I'm not sure what I want to phrase it as. It seems more industrial than actual hunt. You know what I mean? Who uses battle droids? That's not for me to say. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. Okay. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. All right, fair enough. How long have you been at it? I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I have much to learn yet. Gotcha. Fair enough. What do you want to learn? There are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust that the only difference between us is experience. I will learn. Good to know. Fair enough. Uh, what can you tell me about the other ones? I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word, though. Watch yourself around the Gamorians. Girk and his Gamorians, buddies aren't to okay. be trusted. Everyone else I respect because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. What makes you say that? Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Fair enough. Uh, I have to leave. Goodbye. Good hunting. Good hunting. Narkal, Ugzak, and Gurk. Them some names. <laughs> Ha ha, boys, it talked to me. What do you want, Humi? Yeah, you tell him, Gurk. Uh, I didn't catch all of that line. It just went by too fast. Uh, <laughs> what if I wanted advice? I'm sure you are very smart. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. You're trying to get my secrets, I bet. Try to find where I hunt, huh? I tell you nothing. Yeah, you get nothing. So I got a peanut gallery that keeps... Repeating what the first guy says. All right, fair enough. Um, I'm looking for something. Are you good scouts? Oh, we are best among everybody, but not for you. We hunters know more than everybody. Yeah, you go learn the dunes yourself. Then maybe you talk enough. You tough enough to talk to us? Probably not, though. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Bet you don't come back. Uh huh. Shut up, stupid. Why don't you let him speak? What, you deaf? Because he's stupid and talks too much. You leave us alone now. I am not stupid. You are stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. I hope this doesn't take too long. Gamorians like to throw insults around, but they just don't have the smarts for it. You are stupid one, not me. You too stupid to even know you are stupid. Oh, boy. No, you are stupid one, stupid. You're so stupid everyone see you and say, look, it's stupid. Oh, boy. <laughs> Now I see what mission was meaning. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just leave. Yeah, you leave. That's good. Maybe we see you out in the dunes. Maybe before you see us. Shut up, stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a the feeling they're going to try and ambush me and uh, try and kill me. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting out of them. Well, I get a feeling I'm going to have to kill them at some point. Unfortunate, but oh well. Tennis Ven, let's talk to you. What can I do for you? Hmm? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? Um... Pff, wow, that last question. What is your life worth? Uh, I'm looking for experts. You seem knowledgeable. Oh, of course. Who put you up to this, my wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. I wasn't asking about credits, and I wasn't sent by your wife, but, but, okay. Uh, I'm looking for something. Who knows the planet best? Who knows the planet? I don't know. 
I guess the same people. I'm usually running when I see them, though. Fair enough. Have you ever seen them with anything odd? Uh, sure. My blood. They almost got me last year. Two, oh. two of my battle droids. Wipers battle droids? <laughs> Took her weeks to fix. Where they got weapons to cut battle armor, I don't know. They act like animals, but they can surprise you. You're the guy who uses the battle droids to hunt. You're the asshole. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess I'll deal with you at some point. Probably. Uh, where did this happen? I don't know. Take a dune and walk. They'll get you soon enough. All right. What about the Jawas? Smart traders. They've salvaged and sold me my own damaged droids once or twice. They don't seem much <laughs> okay. I can understand. I think they're a little slow, but who am I to judge, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's probably because you're just an asshole. Just a complete asshole. Uh, ask hunting you about is hunting. And tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about it? Um, how long have you been at this? Too long. Quit a beat smuggling. You ever run into a Sith dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. You crossed paths with a Sith dreadnought? Hell, I married her. <laughs> uh -huh. no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. Fair enough. You go on about your wife a lot. What's the deal? Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Okay. So you're not going to, I don't know, try and create some understanding between the two of you at all? You're just going to complain about her getting on your case for things that are probably valid concerns at all? Huh? All right. Fine, fine, whatever you want. Uh, it's nothing else that you have that interests me, so I'll go. Good, honey. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Other than knowing that you're an asshole who hunts with droids, nothing else about you is interesting. I have a feeling I can screw you over at some point. Uh, sand crawler mechanic. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please make it quick. Uh, I just want to ask some questions. Alright, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest you. I just work on the crawlers. Okay. Uh, describe your job and who you work for. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. I gotcha. What attacks do you mean? The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now. But few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. Fair enough. Where can I learn about these bounties? Try at the Zerka offices, right here. They'd know. Oh, right at that door? Okay, cool. Uh, when do the sand crawlers head out? Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't Fair enough. Help avoid the sand people, though. Mm -hmm. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about Tatooine and Anchorhead? Oh, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Oh, so this isn't the first time. Why have previous... Ugh, why have previous settlements failed? Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. Company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. Huh. So, it tricks people? How so? Does that mean they weren't just sold faulty information, they actually thought they had good info and then found out they didn't? Huh. Odd. Circuit Corporation isn't doing well here? No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal... I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life, and I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's I why see. whoever was here before left, and why Zerka will leave, and why whoever comes next will leave. 
Fair enough. That's all I needed. Right, Thank then. you. Back to work, I guess. So, it's not that it can't handle the pressures. It just doesn't eventually... It eventually corrodes and then makes it useless after a while. So it's not that it can't handle it. It just eventually degrades way faster than any other metal. I guess it makes sense. Okay. So it's some weird properties about tattooing metal that makes it just useless, I guess. Okay. Uh, I should probably open this before I go in there. Because <laughs> I noticed it's something I could open. Could I... Could you maybe go to the door? Thank you. Perfect. All right. You'll be hearing about this, Zerka Puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't murder a whole village. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know where I'm not wanted. Uh, what's going on here? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't even interested in listening to me. I doubt they will even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up. Okay. I'm still gonna bring it up, though. Just because... Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Why not? Uh, I, I, I could look for uh, Griff. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Oh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. I uh -huh. hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. Oh. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. So you fired him? We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. So, the, so you mean he's dead? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Wow. So your workers are all expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. Right. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the sand people numbers. Uh -huh. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Boy, do I understand that. All right. Uh, fair enough, I guess. I guess. So he might be captive right now. He could be dead. Uh, is there some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I mm -hmm. suppose you could apply for special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Okay. Uh, let's ask you about something else. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. I'm sure you do. All of the go away, we aren't doing anything for you or with you sort of work. Gotcha. Uh, what about the hunting licenses again? As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. Okay. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. I Just see. So we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. There's no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are uh -huh. becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. 
I see. So you're holding them hostage until you get someone who will do your dirty work. Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Oh, fair. Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get a hunting license unless I agree. Okay, I agree to Excellent. do it. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Okay. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You okay. might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Uh, let's go back to the first questions. Then. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. You said that the first time, and yet you're still talking to me. Uh, anything out of the ordinary happening? I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. No desire to mistakenly associate with the losing side, hmm? Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. Aha. Uh -huh. Know anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track. One of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Fair enough. Very well. Anything well, more in the first questions I can ask you, uh, Zerka Corporation? Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your uh -huh. needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Uh, may I ask how your operations are doing? Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. Wow. Why the secrets? The company stuck you here. Tell I'm me. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Very well. Let me see if I can of course. do that again. For your needs here. Uh, can please I ask? Please it would be better if you told me now. Of course. I could just tell you now. No sense in being so secretive. It's all fairly obvious. There the mining operations here have not been a success. The ore is substandard, and there's less of it than surveys indicated. With the Sand People raids on top of it all, it's no wonder this planet has been abandoned before. What makes the ore substandard? No one knows. There are odd energy fluctuations on this planet, but they defy analysis or explanation. Huh. But the effect is obvious. Ore taken from Tatooine is useless for construction. It degrades incredibly fast. Word is getting out about it, too. We're running out of buyers. Zerka Corporation is not doing well here. So... Let me get this straight. It's only when the ore's taken off-planet it becomes useless? So, when it stays on Tatooine, it's fine. And the odd energy fluctuations have something to do with that? There is a lot of weird stuff going on with the ore on Tatooine. Does this mean you have plans to pull out? The company would be foolish to stay. It will be costly, but in the end, leaving will be cheaper than staying. I imagine all the heavy equipment will be abandoned. It's not worth shipping out things like sand crawlers. Maybe the Jawas will find a use for them when we're gone. <laughs> That's a laugh. Yeah. A laugh. Even though we can see them using them in some of the later movies. Yeah, such a laugh. Uh, what do you mean the planet was abandoned before? We can't ignore evidence that Anchorhead was settled more than once before, and abandoned each time. Mm -hmm. There's probably a century between each attempt, just long enough for records about why it failed to disappear. The Jawas scavenge see. ancient tech all the time. It's a remote world. Who knows what's here? Fair enough. I have to go now. Goodbye. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Yeah, but only through the representative kiosk business hours, please. Yes, I get it. I get it. Bastila seems to have something on her mind. How can I help? Uh, you wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. Okay. 
I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me. You never give up, do you? Nope. I admit, I'm interested in you. I hey! I'm intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. Uh-huh. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force. She I admitted it. Think of how you might misuse it. I make you tremble. Do you get all tingly inside, too? What? I, no, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I I've see. seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable. But I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. Okay. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the Force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side okay. grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Are you saying the light side is innocent of killing? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's okay. so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. <coughs> Lying in there, foreshadowing. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I played up the bit enough. <laughs> Do whatever is required, such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. Mm -hmm. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Here's hoping. All right, Greta Holda. Yes, what is it? If this is about mining or sand people, you go to the Zerka officers. I just managed the storehouse. Uh, what do you have available for purchase? Mostly just standard Zerka provisions and supplies. Not enough to keep the locals happy. Have a look. Yeah, so pretty much what the whole Johnny battle armor. It's medium. Decent defense bonus. This armor provides solid defense at the cost of some flexibility, although it is still an Achani product and therefore well suited to quick moving combat. Fair enough. Powered light battle armor. Huh. And it adds strength to boot. Hmm. And resistant to Sonic. This is an early attempt at power-assisted power assisted armor. Dampling fields block the noise of servo motors, unintentionally shielding against external extremes and sonic frequencies as well. That explains that. Okay. Hmm. Defense bonus that also is similar to mine for my current armor I'm wearing. A max dexterity bonus, I think, is more than what I'm currently wearing. And strength plus one. Hmm. Let me double check that that's what I think it is. Oh. Has a dexterity bonus of plus three. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. But it doesn't have plus one to strength like this new thing does. 
then again, I'm eventually going to phase out of armor entirely, so probably not worth it to uh, go after it, honestly. Let me see what you got past that. Um, actual powered battle armor, which is heavy. Uh, plus one more, mm, only uh, plus one max dexterity bonus. Still has the added strength. The micro hydraulics of this armor provides the operator with both protection and strength enhancement. It is rare outside of professional mercenaries and soldiers. Fair enough. A holdout blaster. Sometimes called a sleeper, the holdout blaster is the preferred method of temporarily incapacitating an enemy. Fair enough. And a Mandalorian heavy pistol, huh? Mandalorians boast that a shot from one of these pistols can take a starship out of commission. It's an obvious exaggeration, but for safety's sake, most listeners just smile and nod. Fair enough. Can't really blame them for that. Uh, nothing else really worthwhile. It's not with your inventory. Anyway, uh, we've explored a little bit more into the Zerka operations and uh, discovered why they want the sand people dealt with. And what it takes to get a hunting license is apparently promising to deal with them. I hope there is a way to do it without actually killing them. Because that seems like a dark side thing to just go about killing all of them. Yeah. Seems a little dark sidey. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Eventually going to uh, go after the Sand People, because that's what we're required to do, uh, after we learned from the Zerker Corporation that they are very much a nuisance, and they were holding the hunting license hostage to be able to do that. Uh, for, you know, taking them out. And I guess we'll eventually learn a little bit more about Tatooine, because we seem to be learning a lot about it in these last couple of episodes. For you!